hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for tuning in and clicking on this video as promised i told you guys that i was going to show you how i got this makeup look from my previous video where i was showing you guys how i dyed this hair which is from the previous video where you guys asked me to show you how i dyed that hair so i showed you guys how i do i have an echo i think i have an echo okay so there is no echo i was imagining it so yeah uh please like comment and subscribe um i'm going to ask my boyfriend to do a voiceover uh this makeup look but i'm definitely gonna put all the uh products in the description box in case he doesn't know what they are but yeah i hope um he knows makeup well enough because i've been putting on makeup around him i hope he's been learning what makeup products are for what but yeah i'm putting him to the test again please don't mind my nails my nails are going through a lot and my nail technician is only going to be available at the end of the week and i had to record this so look at the face and the products that i use and don't look at the nails please 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 uh please like comment and subscribe thank you so 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 much for tuning in guys and enjoy the video All right, here we go. First product we've got going on is the matte primer. And that's it on both sides of the face, cool. And then we've got the hydrating primer. That's also going on the face. What, why does no one like make one primer that hydrates and is matte? Anyway, okay, someone will educate me one of these days. Um, right, so surely she's gonna rub that, yep, okay. I was going to ask when she was going to rub that in because that just looked weird. Okay, primers are in. And next up are the brows. So, guys, I'm going to be completely honest. This is the part that I don't really know very well because this is like make or break in our relationship. If I disturb this woman now, I mean, if I disturb her while she's doing this right now, the relationship's over. Because this is the part where she makes sure that her brows are sisters and not cousins. And if they're cousins and it's my fault, like, it's game over. Like, the whole week I'm begging over something I didn't even realize I was doing. So, yeah. So, what she's doing now is shaping her brows. And she's got some small nyana brush. Nyana. Yep. That's what it looks like. Base calls. And then she's... Drawing lines with it. Yep. That's what it looks like. Like I said, guys, I'm so sorry. This part I'm winging completely. Okay, so now we are darkening the brows. Yep. That's exactly what that is. Um, yep. Brows are getting darker, babe. Why are you drawing whiskers? Why are they whiskers? Why are they whiskers? Okay, never mind. Do the whiskers go on both sides? Or is it like a one side wh whisker thing? Okay, so we darken the other brow as well. Little jiggle for the people. Oh, there's the other whisker. Okay, so the brows do look similar, manji. At least. What's next? We've got... Oh, it's still the same. It's the same. Okay, guys, while we've got this going on, I just want to put it out there that um, I'm so sorry to everyone who loves makeup. Okay, I'm really going to try here today, but I'm probably not going to do it justice. But regardless, please do subscribe to the Tube Tube channel. And if at any point I throw us all off direction, oh, is a new product. I'll finish that now. So we've got a something with 332 and a big brush and a small brush. Where, where is this going? Oh, under the brow. So this has to be concealer. I think it's concealer. Yeah, it must be. But also, like, babe, why are you using a thin brush if you're going to make, like, thick lines like that afterwards? Like, wouldn't you have just used a thick brush once? Like, surely that would have saved you time. Like, or do women enjoy just letting 
guys wait forever whenever you go out and stuff. Because surely this could have been done with the big brush. Like, this would have taken, like, five seconds. And then on the other side also, babe, like, get the big brush. Oh, man. Oh. Hey, almost. Good save, babe. Good save. Nearly had a situation. I really still think she should have used the big brush here. Yeah, that's how I feel too. Use the big brush, babe. Use the big brush. This would have been so much quicker. Or is it just me? Okay, well, let's get all of that in there. Uh, while I have a moment, I, I just want to put it out there that I've got cold. In case that she was ill, that's, that's all I wanted to say. Okay, back to the makeup. We're still busy with the concealer. Yep. Blending that in. What's next, girl? Is there something next? There has to be. Yes, that is foundation. Foundation. Ta-da. Where are we putting the foundation? Babe. Again with the thick brush. Like, young parties are stressed, Linda, le. Thick brush, thin brush. Hey. Above the brow? Yep, above the brow. Okay. So if I am correct, this is to blend it all in. You don't want to have like odd colors, you know, reflecting because of the light. So you put some foundation on there and then it all looks uniform right at the end or something similar. I know she's probably going to have me for this. But like I said... This is the part that she would break up with me for. So I generally don't watch this part. And I know when she watches this video, she is going to have me for not knowing this section. But it's okay. We'll make it up. Foundation on the other side. Cool. You know, you can add more, babe. Just use the big brush once. I won't lie, for someone who didn't take art, like, your lines are quite straight. Right, so now we're going to use a fluffy brush thing. And we're going to blend it in. Blend it? Yep, we're going to blend it. Okay, blending the concealer in first on both sides. Because obviously, non-blended concealer will look odd. Right? Yeah. Okay, and then... Still blending. And we're still blending. Ooh, okay. So we've got eyeshadow primer next. I, I personally like this because I actually don't really know what it does besides priming the eyeshadow. And I have no idea what that means. But anyway, we've got eyeshadow primer going on to the one eyelid. Hmm. Yeah, it looks primed to me. And now the other eyelid. Primer, 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 primer. I can actually make a rap song with that. Primer, primer, primer. You know, I've always wondered, like, do you guys not get bored, like, doing your makeup? I mean, it's a long time. I mean, how long has it been so far? I actually don't even know. Now we've got a weird sponge thingy to put the primer more into the eyeshadow, I think. Yep. Here we go. Little sponge thing on both sides. And then what are we doing with the palette? Ooh, there we go. Different color eyeshadow. Firstly, I'm colorblind. So please do not rely on me to tell you exactly which color this is. But this is pinkish, red-ish. More pinkish, if you ask me. But yes, it's going on both eyes now. Um, hmm. Oh, I see. So you had to obviously prime the eye right before you could. Okay. Okay, it's starting to come together now. I've seen Clement, goodness. What's next? What's next? Ooh, more colors. Pick the green one, pick the green one. Okay, guess you didn't. Need to work harder to get you to pick my favorite color. This is sad. 
Okay, so next up, we've got like a different shade. Like I said, I'm colorblind, so you'll advise me what color this is. And then on the other eye, you guys, I need a drink, non-alcoholic, of course, because we are non-alcoholic in this house, at least one of us. Still busy. All right. So we're back, ladies and gents. Um, still with the eyeshadow. Oh, there's the palette again. We're picking a different color. Green, green, pick green, pick green. Mm, close enough. Not really green, but we'll go with it. It actually looks nice. It's actually got taste. It's actually really nice. Okay. All right. So we've got another color going on to the other eyelid. Mm hmm. Blended. Matata in. All right. Next up, we've got mm, foundation. Yep. That's it. Foundation. Guys, like, okay, this is like the part that I really want to find out from everyone. Why does she draw like weird patterns like on her face with the foundation? And you'll see when we get to like the concealer. Like, I've always wanted to know why not just like put it all there. Okay, anyway, back to the video. Uh, now she's got like a sponge that she's like putting all the foundation into her skin. I know it's not called a sponge, guys. I'm so sorry. Like the name will come back to me now, now. But for the purposes of this video right now, sponge. Okay, yeah. So she's sponging, buffing the foundation into her skin. On the forehead now. Hey, at least doesn't have a five head. That would take her a while, wouldn't it? Okay, still buffing it with the sponge. Buff, buff, buff. Buff, buff, buff. Your guy's makeup is an art. You have to be so patient. All right, so here we are. This is the concealer. This is the part that I actually need someone to help me understand. Like, why the shapes? Wait for it. Like, wait. Okay, so we've got it under the eyes. Cool. And it's coming now, now. Okay, just be patient. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's coming now, now. I know this because I always see it. Okay, this is a different tone of concealer, a lighter one. Please, yep, okay. Let's get back to what I was asking. This is the part that confuses me. Why is she drawing Lion King lines on her face? Like, Simba, like, yes. But, okay, anyway, here's the sponge. But someone will explain the lines to me, I hope. Sponge, 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 sponge. Now, blending it all together. Blend, blend, blend. Under the one eye, okay. Cool. You know, makeup really is an art. You guys who do this on the regular, genuinely deserve all the props okay so buffing the other side now with the sponge like i said guys i know it's not called a sponge but just forgive me okay luxury powder um this is to set the foundation and concealer yep it is You've got to set it otherwise it comes off halfway through your date or your time out, wherever you are, and, and then it's just a bad situation. So just be sure to, to put some setting powder, please. Okay, and again with the sponge. Sponge, sponge, sponge. Sponge, 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 everywhere. I know, babe, it's tiring, but you gotta keep going. Uh, what's this? This thing is... Why is she using a... Okay, you know what? Wouldn't the sponge have done the same job at this point? 
Oh, right. Okay. So this is to highlight some of the angles of the face. It's probably not. But I mean, I said it. It's too late to take it back. All right. Next up, we've got our contour palette. Yeah, this is the part that gets interesting sometimes for people who are still beginners. Um, because this is where it really gets difficult. You've got to like scalp your face at this point, you know, and if you are a beginner, just, you know, listen to my voice, take your time, do it slowly, because this is make or break. Okay, you've got to make sure that you really get the shape of your face right, right now, because when you're out in the street and you got your face shape wrong, it just looks weird. And then like people all over the place are staring at you and you think it's a good stare and it's not, but don't panic. Okay, because in the beginning, everyone's a beginner. I was a beginner, you know, and I'm a pro now, as you can hear from this video. I got all of this on lockdown. Okay, back to our little brush and just blending it all in. We've got another palette here. Can someone help me? What palette is this? I don't even know. Okay, but it's going to go on her face, I assume. I mean, that's why she pulled it out. Um, I mean, she's blending it in, so... It's got to be part of the contour package, you know? Listen, I, I know I said I was a pro, but like even pros sometimes fall off. Okay, it's just a bad day right now. Hey, here's another sponge. Babe, I can't call it. Come help me. Um, okay, there's like powder. So this has to be powder contour. I want to go with powder contour. And if it's not, well, welcome to our Troop Troop channel anyway. Um, babe, stop grooving. Finish your makeup. Guys, matter. Guys, show you now. Hey, finish your makeup. Thank you. Okay, here we are. This is, oh, goodness. This is the eyeliner. And if it's not, guys, like I said, I, I am a professional, so it is eyeliner from this day going forward. And you should probably contact all those companies who might be getting it wrong. But yes, this is eyeliner. Guys, like, how do you not poke your eyes out at this stage? Like, I would, I'd be finished with my eyes. I'd need new eyes at this point. Okay, so we've gone back to just ensuring that the contour is in place. Remember, beginners, take your time, okay? So we've got um, a setting spray. Yep, that's a setting spray. Just to make sure that everyone or everything stays in place. Baby, just like, why are you doing that? Just spray it in one direction and just wait till it's on your face. Does anyone else? Okay, I'm just going to keep quiet because I probably don't know. Yeah, I'd also be tired. You don't take forever to spray your face. Could have been quicker. Okay, now she's fanning her face, as we can see, just to make sure that it's all set properly. Hey, she's grooving, guys. I wish I even knew what song she's grooving to, but that's probably a topic for a different day. So next up, we've got the highlighter. And if anyone ever wonders what a highlighter is for, like, please, Ningang Klupi. It's to highlight. Okay, so what are we highlighting? Um, at this point, our cheekbones. Yep. And the chin, nose, right on the tip. Actually, the whole, the whole spine of the nose and the forehead. I mean, I saw the brush go in there. Oh, and the top lip. This is, does this go everywhere? Like, what's happening? Hey, what's happening? That jumped, didn't it? Yeah, it did. But okay, we're, we're not going to address that. Next up, we've got our eyelash thingy thingy my bob mascara. I think it's mascara. And like I said, if it's not, y'all should probably contact all these beauty product places and tell them that it's called mascara. All right, so now we're setting the brows with a brow setter, I guess. Yep. All right, um, next up is the lip liner. Lip liner. Guys, we're getting close to the end of the video. This sucks. I was actually having fun. Okay, so she's lining her lips. All done. Next is probably lipstick. But she'll want to call her 
Let's see. Babe, stop moving your lips like that. What is that? What, what are you doing? Yep, that's it. Lipstick. Ah, okay. I guess this sort of brings us to the end of our video. You know, thanks for listening to the professional. Yeah, oh, your, your lips look nice. Bah. Hey. Bah. Hey. Bah. Okay, I'm done. Now, say I'm Clement. I'm Sasaki Eleven, guys. I'm Satoma Noe. Hey. Hey. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye. Okay, guys. So Ooh, what's going on here? So this is basically the finished look. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that it was informative. If you feel like I used too many products, you can obviously scale down when you use your own. Um, use lesser product. I mean, I like using product. I like using a lot of product because when I'm wearing makeup, I want it to show that I'm wearing makeup. I don't want people to guess, mm, is she wearing makeup or not? Makeup is too expensive for that. I want it to show that she's wearing makeup. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.